Border agents at the New York-Canadian border captured a missing Florida teen who was wanted for questioning in the death of his 53-year-old grandmother, according to reports. Christina French's body was found Friday in a shallow grave in the backyard of her grandson's home in Neptune Beach. Logan Mutt, 15, was caught trying to slip into Canada late Friday at a border crossing near Buffalo. We are relieved he is safe and in custody and we just ask for everyone to give us time to sort out what happened, the boy's mother Carrie Campbell Mitt said after being told of her son's detention, Fox 30 Jacksonville reported. She added that, no matter what, Logan is our child and we love him and are standing by him to help in any way. We want to find out what happened to Christina and we need time for that to happen. French was caring for Logan while his father, a Jacksonville jail guard, was on vacation with his girlfriend, the station reported. Jack's Sheriff's Office at Jessopio November 23, 2017 Eric Mott returned to Jacksonville Wednesday to a ransacked home and the theft of his guns, the Florida Times Union reported. French's home had also been ransacked and weapons that she owned had been stolen, the paper reported. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office then issued an alert for French, the boy and her car. Earlier Friday, deputies said Logan and the car were seen on surveillance video at a gas station in southern Pennsylvania on Thanksgiving Day, the paper reported. The deputies also said they had obtained an arrest warrant charging him with stealing his grandmother's car and that he was a person of interest in her death, according to the paper. He should be considered armed and dangerous, they said. Logan's mother said she last spoke to her son Sunday, the Times Union reported. He seemed to her to be in a good mood, the paper reported.